2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. But who's gonna be upset to the injustice that go against our people? Right. Who's, gonna, who's gonna be upset for, for the words that go against God? Come on. And give them warning from and, me. And give them warning, read. When I say it to the wicked, thou shalt surely die. So guess what? Everything's all right while y'all brothers selling dope. Everything's all right while y'all sisters being whores. Everything is all right while you walking back and forth through the subway. Everything's all right. But the most I say, what? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. You're going to surely die. And it's not going to be a regular death. The Most High going to come back with the nuclear destruction. That says the word of God. Read. And thou gives him not warning. And, and we giving you warning. We giving you warning when we come out here to tell you how. Repent. For the kingdom is heaven is at hand. Just like in Noah days. Noah gave the people warning. Nobody wanted to hearken to Noah's word. But guess what? Everybody eventually got destruction. Read on. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. So we warning the wicked from their wicked ways. We telling the brothers, put the drugs down. We telling the sisters, take off the pants. We telling the brother, pull their pants up. We giving you the word of God. Read. To save his life. To save your life. Right. But we got a lot of people that's in a dead state and they content with where they at. They don't care about coming back to the word of the most high God. They care about what they want to do. Give me, give me that in um give me give me a uh, second is seven and fifty-six. Give me second is seven and fifty-six. Because it's penalties for what you all are doing. If you ain't doing according to the Bible, there are penalties for what you are doing. And the most high God has a payback for you. Read. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 56. Come on. For while we live and committed iniquity. So while you living and committing sin, while you going day to day committing sin, everybody that's walking past the word, turning their nose up, frowning at the word, it says yes. Hey brother, you got a question? Read. For while we live and committed iniquity, we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. So guess what? You will not have a normal death. After death, you will reap what you sow in that's this true. world. That's right. If you ain't keeping God's commandments, that's the only way you can get the kingdom. Right. And we bring in you the message, the good news. But guess what? You walk a past, you walk past, and you really don't care for the word of God. Read right. on. Right. Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Come on. That, if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said it. Right, read, give me 2nd Ezra 14, 35. Bring it give me 2nd Ezra 14, verse 35. Because you got to understand, you ain't going to do what you want to do, and the Most High ain't going to pay you a visit. Read, just like the young brother that got stabbed, guess what? That was a judgment from the Most High God. Bring it and out. it's the same God that you dealing with. Right. The God, the good and terrible God. Right. The Christian, the Christian pastor only tell you about the loving God. But that's the same God that'll put you to death. Right? That's right. right. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, 
and verse 35. For at the death shall the judgment come. So after death, your judgment will come. Read. When we shall live again. When we shall live again. Because guess what? The brothers that's keeping the commandments, the sisters that keeping the commandment, we gonna we gonna reap those benefits. And right. the benefit is we live eternally. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. Say the name of the what? The names of the righteous be manifest. So the names of the righteous, the names of the brothers that's keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments, our names don't be manifest. Our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And the works of the ungodly, and the works, what you do right now on this earth, your works gonna be what? Shall be declared. Your works gonna be declared. That's right. You gonna get everything that you do today and from this day forward, you gonna get it back. That's right. You gonna That's get right. what you reap. Bring and then you gonna get what you sow, brothers and sisters. Read. Let no man therefore come unto me now, uh -huh. nor see after me these 40 days. So guess what? Everything that you do, you have to pay for it. And we coming to you, brothers. Hey, ask questions. Hey, do you know your nationality? Hey, do you love God? Who out here really can say that they love God? Who can say that they really love the they really love this Bible and they love God? Guess what? Silence. So guess what? In your calamities, the most high gonna be silent. You ain't gonna be able to come to him because we coming out here with the word of God now. This is the word of God. This is the mouth of God. We didn't write a word out of this book. Read. This is the book of Galatians chapter six and verse seven. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Be not fooled. Don't even take our word for it. If it don't come out of the Bible, don't take the word for it. Don't take our word for it. Read. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. The Most High God will never be mocked. Right. Breathe. For whatsoever a man soweth, whatever you sow, meaning the works and the acts that you commit while you're living, read. That shall he also reap. You're going to reap it. You're going to reap it. And you're going to reap it now and you're going to reap it later. Right. You're going to reap it now and later. So the most high ain't playing. Give me Deuteronomy. Bring it Give out. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Because we think the most, we take the most high for a joke. We take the most high for a joke. Give me 28 and, and 15. Because this is one of the penalties. This is this is the reason why we're in the condition that we in now. We are rebellious, stiff-necked people. Breathe. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou art not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the, 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 the scripture said, it shall come to pass, meaning later tense, future tense, this certain thing is going to happen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. It says to observe, to do all his commandments. But guess what? Everybody is passing to and four and they're not observing. They're not observing the word of God. They're not observing the, the, the signs that we have out here. We come out here for y'all. We don't come out here just because we want to do this. We come out here because the word of God tells us to do this. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses came upon our people. In 2018, these curses are now upon our people and it's important that these curses that we go through, it's important for us to know that these curses are upon us because that's your identifying marker. Read the first curse. Right. Verse 16, curse shall not be in the city. So black man, black woman, land man, land woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, how are we cursed in the city? Or are we cursed in the city, brother? Is our nation, how, how, name some ways that we're cursed in the city. Just, just name one way. Who's the violence amongst at an all-time rate? It's amongst our nation, right? When you go throughout the, the cities, different cities, who populate the poorest areas? Who populate the poorest areas in the city? We do, right? We populate the poor. Why do you think 
that that happens to us? Why do you think that, that, that those curses that is upon us, why do you think it happened to us? Do you think it was by accident that they came from all the way from one side of the world and put us on slave ships? It was. Did you know that that was in the Bible? That's, hey, come a little closer, bro. Come a little closer. Bro. Hey, so so these things says, curse shall thou be in the city. Just like the, the, the incident that happened with the 15-year-old. The brother got stabbed several different times by people that looked like him. Right. But I guarantee you, if the other nations had to did the same exact act towards that brother's sister, he wouldn't have tra he, he wouldn't have went and, and killed that, that, that other person. It's only because we see each other, we see each other as enemies. Right. We see each other as enemies, so it's that much more easier for us to kill each other. It's that much more easier for us to hate one another. You my brother. I'm your brother. We're supposed to see Christ in one another. Read on. Curse shall not be in the city, and curse shall not be in the field. And how was we cursed in the field? Come up here and check these signs out. Come look at these signs right here, brother. Look at some of the images that, that, that we serve. Hard bondage. Rigor. Right here. Check this image out. We get so Block. Why did that happen to our people? Do anybody know? Do anybody care? Everybody just going on by their day. They can care less about the word of God. This is the understanding of the Bible that we must come to. In the churches, you will not get the understanding out of the churches. The church has been here as long as you've been living. And you never heard this before in your churches. Right. Never will. Read on. Curse shall be that basket and thy store. It says, what, where are our stores? Do we own any of these stores that's down here in this area? We don't own none of this stuff. We can't go and buy from our own people. That's a curse that God put up on us. Yeah, yeah, check that fly out. There's more information um, on that fly, brother. But read on. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. It says, curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Guess what? Even as we raise our kids, they're cursed. They're cursed. We gotta send them to the school system. They teach our, they, they with our kids 40 hours a week. Right. And they teach our kids nothing about themselves. Right. They teach our kids what they want our kids to know. Right. So we gotta we, we gotta come back to the most high God laws because he's punishing us for what we are doing. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So our sons and our daughters were given to another people. That only happened to us. Hey, I got a question, sis. Hey, I got one question. Who went into slavery and kids was given to another people. That only happened to our nation of people. That didn't happen to everybody. That's how you know we identify with these curses. We are the people of the book. But God requires some of us. Read on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and thou them longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy head. Still to this day, if the Child Protective Service come to your house and say they got a call concerning you, you um treat your kids wrong. Guess what? You abusing your kids in any way. It could be a false accusation. But guess what? They are able to take your kids and you're not able to do anything about it. Right. right. And it's not going to be easy to get your kids back. They're going to take you through all type of hell trying to get your kids back. Right. And be expecting to pay a lot of money. Court costs. They're going to do everything in their power to do what they are able to do. Because guess what? We breaking God's laws. Right. Nobody is considering coming back to God's laws. Right. We try everything. We still vote to this very day. We still right. march. What are these things doing for us? Nothing. We're still in the same condition. We're still doing the same thing with no change. We won't change, but we won't change. 
real oxymoron within ourselves. But guess what? The Most High got a question for certain brothers and sisters, for you brothers especially, because the brothers, we have to put brothers back in, 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 in control because we are the head. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to operate this thing. Right. That's why the women are out of control. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So the most I want to know who will rise up for him against the evildoers. Excuse me, sister. Sister with the Delta jacket on. Sister, excuse me. Can I, can I dialogue with you for a moment? Can I ask you a question? Quick question. I said, could I ask you a quick question? She was in here too. Okay. With this, the symbols on the jacket, is this Greek? Are you are you in a uh, sorority? A Delta? Oh, uh, Catholic Church? So what do they teach you in a Catholic church? Y'all talk about God? So do the God that y'all talk about look like this right here? Yes. He looked just like that. Yes. So, th so that's the God that you are talking about. So, but what book do y'all read out of? Y'all read out of the Bible? Yes, well, we have our own Bible. Y'all have your own Bible. Okay. So, do the, do the image in the Bible look more like this, or do it look more like that over there? Look more like this right here. Okay. So we're gonna get it out of the Bible explaining how the most important man that walked the face of the earth look. Right. Bring right. it out. Because in your mind, you think that it's Jesus, right? Okay, now we're going to get out of the Bible, and we're going to get how Jesus looked, and he gonna, it's going to explain that he looked just like you, sister. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says what? Read again. His head in his hairs. It said his hairs, read, were white like wool. So the hairs on his head and his face were white like what? Like wool. It was white like wool. What nation of people have woolly texture hair? Huh? You don't know what nation have woolly hair? Just rub, and rub the top of your head. Right. You have woolly. Your nation of people have woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. And it says as white as snow. This, this, those are gray hairs. But he's describing them as white. We call them gray hairs. So he had much wisdom. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, sister, check this right here. Check this image. Which one of these images where he had red eyes as flame of fire? Do any of these images have show you that he had red eyes? No, that's white and brown. This one right here, white. All these pictures, there is nowhere. But do that image over there has red eyes? Yeah, do he have woolly hair? Yeah, he had woolly hair. We're going to go even farther. Read on. And his feet like a defined bread. So what, raise your pants leg up, sister. It says feet like unto fine brass. Right here. Feet like unto fine brass. It's describing your description, but it's in the Bible as Christ. Meaning you look just like him. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn and they burn. It says his feet like unto fine brass. That's a derivative of brown. But you take that derivative of brown and it says as if it was burned in a furnace. So what color is Christ? Is he this color or is he that color? White. So he's still white after you read that, after you heard that description? It says his skin. Read it again. It's his feet. And his feet. His feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. That's right. Where do you see brown at? In this, this image right here. There's no brown in that image, right? It's brown in that image, right? So Christ is brown, color bronze, read. And his feet light unto fine breath, uh -huh. as if they burn and they burn it. So if his feet look like fine breaths, as if they burn in the furnace, what color do you think his face look like? Do you think his 
his, his feet look your complexion and his face look like this? No. Nah. No. Nah. So he looked exactly like that image over there, right? Now this is not Jesus Christ. This is a depiction of how the Bible explains how he looked. That's right. So now do you do you get because what what the, the place where you go and worship, what they're teaching you to do is to be comfortable and accept and trust people that look like this. And to separate yourself and hate people that look like this. So that's the, that's why color is very important. We gotta know that the people that that this book is describing look like us. Right. We are the people right. of this book. Right. But how many people in your church have told you that? That's why you have to come out of that. They ain't teaching according to the Bible. Yeah. They even went to the further extent to write their own Bible. They, they ain't doing what God, they ain't doing the word of God. Bring it out. Read that. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 18. So this is going to go into certain images that you're wearing now. Read. What profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it? So it's on a graven image. That's the topic. Graven image. What graven image do you have on? Who do you have on the cross? Look. It's a graven image, right? It, it got the crucifix to him crucified on the cross. That's a graven image. So it's and, and it's not him. It's the white man that they have on the cross. Three. What cross is the graven image that the maker of the world has graven? It says, so what profit you to wear this graven image right here? Because guess what? If 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 Jesus got shot down with a rifle, would you wear a rifle around your head or AK-47? Would you wear a gold AK-47 around your neck to remember his death? There was plenty of people that got crucified that same way. So that's, that's the thing. We, we got to understand what we're getting ourselves into. Read on. What profit is the graven image that the maker of love has graven it? The molten image. The molten, the molten image. Read. A teacher of what? What do the image do? A teacher of what? So that image teach lies. You want to know how? Because guess what? Now you're wearing that in, in representation of the wrong person. Because nowhere in the Bible where you can read that it tells us to magnify or to wear the cross. Nowhere. There, there's nowhere in the Bible that it gives us any type of documentation to tell us that that thing is all right for us to do. So you understand some of the stuff that's, that's being brought out? Ma'am? Yeah, we're here every second. Did you know that that was a commandment? Do you all congregate on the Sabbath? Do y'all come together on a Sunday or a Saturday? Huh? On Sunday? Okay, give me Exodus 28. Because this is the this is the day that you're supposed to come together. That's right. So this that we already found out three, two, three things that they ain't teaching where you go. That they have to come back to teach it because this this is our history. This is our heritage. This is what we must come back to in order for the most high to start hearing our prayers. In order for the most high to start blessing us as a nation. Listen to this, read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. So the first word that he spoke was remember. Meaning in 2018, as a nation of people, we would not remember that today is the Sabbath day. And what we're supposed to do on this day, according to the laws of God. He said, remember, read. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Three. Six days shall thy labor. So six days we're supposed to labor and do all our work. So the most high give us six days out of seven days to do our work. Three. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Come on. But the seventh day. He said but. Meaning there's a stipulation. 
That means you don't need to do anything on the seventh day but the things that he commanded us to do. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Did Moses have the old and new? Testament. Testament. Right. What does that have to do with your salvation? That to, that's right. not, brother, you can't ask a so question. It's, it's, You're not asking a question with a question, brother. Like, all right, listen to, listen to the Bible. Read. Gee whiz. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. So are you going to say for your answer, brother? Go ahead, go ahead. No, all right. Go ahead. You, you want to answer, listen to the answer. Read. That's not answering my question. For finding thought with them, uh -huh. he said, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant, a new covenant, read, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So if he's making a new covenant, and this is in the New Testament, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, how could Judah be killed? I mean, how could the other tribes be dead, brother? So, so why would he make a new covenant with Judah and Israel that's if they did right? That's two no, tribes. No, it's southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Okay, right. Those, those are two that's tribes, the brother. The other, the other those are two kingdoms. You, you have, you have right. Judah, right. Benjamin, right. Levi, right. and the other kingdom. And then the rest of them make up the second kingdom, brother. Right. And, the rest, and those kingdoms are not gone. Right. You, you asked us a question. You never answered my question. I, we just we just gave you the, the you answer. That's a covenant. That don't have nothing to do with testament. Testament. New testament. Brother, that's it's the same thing. It's the same thing, brother. Really? The, the, the New Testament came after Yahshua died. After his so, question, And those books was fabricated are you after he died. Laws? Of course I am. What laws are you keeping? All the laws he gave. 613. You keeping every I'm not saying I'm keeping them all to a T, but I'm trying my best to the best of my ability to keep them. So, I, don't, I don't eat pork, uh -huh. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't fornicate, I don't lie, I don't cheat, I don't steal, right. I don't rob, I love my brother. Uh -huh. Alright? Yes, I try to, to the best of my ability. I'm not saying I keep them all. Do you I keep try my best. Sad? And I keep the Sabbath. Yes, I do. With who? With which man with who? With yourself? With which man with who? With yourself? Do you wear three? Of course I, no, I wear fringes, but I wear a garb. You wear a garb? Yes, I do wear a garb. Did, did he command us to wear a garb? Yes, he did command us. He, put, he said, scripture? put on your clothes, your, your clothes of righteousness and take, on your, uh, take you off your unrighteous cloth. cloth. I'm going to give you one that's scripture what, that's that you can keep it, that's that you can no, no, And this is love. I'm, I'm helping you, you to help just me. more understand. I don't need you to help me. I'm, I'm helping you I, the more, I need the most high to help me, Listen, not you. Where, where I don't am need I going? man to help me. Where am I going you to help you? I'm going to the Bible. You just so said, are you going to try to help me? Brother, listen. Don't be a smart dummy. I'm not being a smart don't dummy. Don't be smart right. dummy, bro. I listen. Be that. I'm giving you the word of God. I haven't you gave you anything from my own perspective. You said I'm giving you me. what the word of you God said. Go, go but you're trying to be a smart ass. I'm not trying to be you, a smart You listen to the word of God. Go listen. Ahead. So if you, hey, if That's you don't agree, if you don't agree with what we bring it out, yeah. you can walk that way or that way. You can walk whatever way you want to. But as for us, we're going to preach out of the word of God. Read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 17, and verse 38. So receive this right here, because this is going to help you get a better understanding. Because if the most high, if he's looking at you and you ain't keeping his laws, he ain't dealing with you. He's not dealing with you either. I'm keeping his laws. No, you're not. No, you're not. keeping a friend's laws. Just because you wear the prison, that don't mean that don't mean duty squad. Are you an Israelite? No, I'm not. You're not. So go down the street. I don't got you. Go down the street. Hey, we done. Hey, we done entertaining these fools, man. How you gonna come up here and we teach the Israel? You ain't teaching nobody. You teach the Israel. Yo, guess what? You don't believe in this Bible, bro. I don't believe. You don't believe nothing in this Bible. I don't believe it. You don't believe nothing in this Bible. That's the devil's man. Hey, that's what's going on. Okay, yeah, yeah. this is his yeah. Hey, sis, Go ahead, listen. Listen, listen real quick. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 20. Wait, wait, wait. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together. Draw what? Together? Draw near together. But this brother want to be, hey, he want to have a, a special connection with the Most High God. Hey, he said on the Sabbath, he said the Most High God by himself. Hey, he want a special connection. Read on. Ye that are escaped of the nation. Come on. 
They have no knowledge that set up the what of the graven image. They have no knowledge that do what? That set up the what of the graven image. And that's what the brother worships. That brother is in idolatry. He where is his God. The brother is in the idolatry, but he's going to come up here and tell the brother is actually keeping the laws of God. What's right and what's wrong? Free. And pray until a God that cannot save. So tell your God to come down here and save you from being afflicted. Right. Tell your God to do that. Since you were your God. My apologies, since now we're going to teach you your nationality. We got to get the devil out of here. Because we don't want him interacting and interfering, being all in your ear. So let me do the word of the Let me do the word of the 28 and 1. We're going to show you who the Most High God is talking to. Hey, uh, 1 and 1. We're going to get the audience of who's been spoken to by Moses, and then we're going to go into the curses that afflict these people and show you that we are these people. This is the King James Version, 16 and 11. Read on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. I'm going to need you to listen, sis. Read and close. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who is Moses speaking to right here in the book of Deuteronomy? I don't know. Read it again. These be the words which Moses spake. Who is Moses speaking to? Unto all Israel. So who is Moses speaking to in this passage? Israel. Israel. So give me 28 and 1. Right. So now we got we got the audience. We know the whole book of Deuteronomy is to who? Israel. Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says, it shall come to pass, meaning future tense. Because this Bible was written over 2,000 2, 2, years ago. So it says, it shall come to pass. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning this Bible. Read. To observe and to do. To observe and to do, meaning actions. There's actions of what we're supposed to do in this Bible. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So he have given us commandments that we're supposed to be doing even to this very day. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. The God of this Bible said he was going to set Israel on high. Read. Above all nations of the earth. So he said he's going to set Israel, the people of Israel, above all the nations that are on the face of the earth. Is equality in that? Uh, I didn't hear it. Read it again. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Above all nations. The so called Black, Hispanic, and Native American is supposed to be above all nations. That are on the face of the earth. That's right. Now give me 28 and 15, because there's a flip side to that. He said, if you hearken and do what I want you to do, do what I command you to do, I'm gonna set you above high, above all people. You, we don't supposed to be populating the, the, the um, slums and the ghettos. Right. We don't supposed to be the first five last high. Right. We don't supposed to go to our enemies for the want of all things. Good. These things came upon us because we didn't do what the Most High God said, and that's keep His commandments. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't want to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if we didn't want to do his commandments, if we want to argue and be with be like the brother, pass by like the brothers and sisters, they don't want to hear the word of God, we going to get what? That all these curses, we're going to get curses. Is that a good or bad thing? It's not good at all, right? Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse shall thou be in the city. So when you look at the na different nations that, that populate New York, just New York alone, what nation you would say cursed in the city? Yeah. The Bronx? Who populated the Bronx? When you, no, everybody. When, when you said everybody. when you said these places are cursed, who populate these places? Who populate these places? The majority of people that populate these places. It's people that look like us. People that look like you, sis. The so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. 
Alright, read on. Curse shall not be in the city. It says, Curse shall not be in the city. Who the first hired, last hired? That's the look, look at, just look around. You got all of our people taking buses. We depend on the bus. If the bus system in New York shut down, guess what? A lot of people going to be out of work. A lot of people going to get evicted. A lot of people going to be homeless if they take the bus system out. And majority of the people out here look like us. That's a curse that we should have to depend on them. Read. Curse shall not be in the city. And curse shall not be in the field. It says curse shall not be in the field. Look at these images right here. You got images right here. Who was cursed in these fields? What do people look like that's speaking God? Who, who, who is this right here, sis? No, I'm a woman? No, this is a woman. Who is this? Child. That's a child. That's like a four or five year old child picking cotton with her mom. That happened to our nation of people. Right. It didn't happen to no other nation of people. Right. Read. Curse shall not be in the city, and curse shall not be in the field. In the field, we picked the cotton. We pick the, the, the potatoes, we the rice plantation. All these different plantations that we was on and in these fields, we did all the work. We built New York. We built this world. They, they raped and robbed our foremothers and forefathers and had them serving hard bunnies and didn't pay them nothing. And they built this country and we still looking for reparations from a nation that hate us. That's our enemy. So do you see how these curses line up with us? So we, if you look at this sign right here, the so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, we make up the 12 tribe of Israel. That's right. To further extent, how did we get over here on this side of the world? How did our nation of people get over here on this side of the world? Did we walk? No. Did we swim? I heard somebody across the street so we took let me, let me take a picture hey, of this. So how how do how do how how would what would you say our tra means of transportation to get over here? Did we come over here forcefully or did we just come over here with ships? By ships? I don't know about Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans were sold into slavery as well, sis. Yes. Y'all were sold just like us. We the same people. There's no different in you and in me. We the same people. We went through the same atrocities. We're the same with a pro. You, you see the ships? It's going every day. Oh my God. Yes, sis. I forgot I did think about this. They right. They raped my ancestors. They raped your ancestors. They came here. They came here. They came to Puerto Rico. And then when they came here, they came to the ship went to Puerto Rico. The ship went to Puerto Rico. The plane to Puerto Rico. I remember. That's why they're black people Puerto Rico. There you go. They weren't, no, they are mean to them. Uh, they couldn't take it because ah, okay, they're okay. their environment. They bring their environment Vibrant, to a yeah. pure environment. Right, right, so right. that's why they got sick and they couldn't have So you remember it and you recalling all of this. There's scriptures in the Bible. Hey, watch this. Listen to this. Romans 8, 16. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So the spirit of God itself just bear witness with your spirit. All those atrocities, most high, the most high God reminded you of those. So you can see yourself clear as day in this Bible being explained. Your nation of people, my nation of people, yeah. us as a nation of people. I just to be right, read. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. Since your spirit bear witness. Go back to what you had. Your spirit bear witness that you are children of God. Because these curses are upon God's children. We ain't getting afflicted for nothing. Right. The other nations, they good. It's not too much going on with them. 
because he's not dealing with them. He gave them idols to worship. We're the only nation that has the one true God. That's right. And that's the God of Israel. You so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read what you got again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Now, we was on a conversation stating that how we got over here. The Bible is going to define clearly how we got over here. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is an old Quaker word for slavery, bondage, captivity. Because the, the children of Israel, when they was in Egypt, they were serving under Pharaoh, and they were slaves. So they word means bondage, slavery. So it says, read it from the top again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He's going to bring us into slavery again. Read. With ships. No, that don't say that. Read what it says. With ships. It says with ships. So everything that we went through as a nation is in this Bible. Just like the Most High said it was going to happen, it happened. Read. By the way thereof, I spake unto thee. So just like the Most High told Moses to give us this word, to tell us if we obey it, we'll be above our people. If we disobey it, we was going to go into slavery again on ships. It happened. Read. That's right. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we didn't see our homeland no more again. Because Puerto Rico wasn't y'all native land. We live in Jerusalem. Right. That's our homeland. That's where we, that's where we live. But guess what? We disobeyed the most high God our laws and he kicked us out of the land. Now you got the fake Jews over there claiming that they are us. And they put us over here in the slums and ghettos. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And you shall be sold. You remember all that that you just remember? Oh yeah, they took us from here and they dropped us off in Puerto Rico. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Do you think your, your family members are selling you into slavery? No. So these are our enemies. In 2018, we don't think that they're our enemies. We think that they're our friends. But God said that they are our enemies. Read. And then you shall be sold unto your enemies. Come on. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Enslave women. That means the woman cannot exceed over the man. She was in slavery just like us. They didn't say, they, they didn't say oh, well, no, nah, we're going to let you, we're going to let you do good. But go ahead. Read. Come on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall free you. So that, don't that explain what happened to your nation and my nation? So that, that let you go. We are who? Who is the whole book of Deuteronomy to? Who was the book? Who, who was Moses speaking to? To Israel. So Israel went through these atrocities, which that us. What? Yeah, I, I just want to read my Bible, so I'm like, I already read about this, right. and I'm reading through the Bible, so you can interpret it in terms of, like, saying it that way. No, 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 we read like, it, thus says the word of God. I got a little dictionary word, so the word we say about the way. The Bible is its own dictionary. Well, I need to look up the words, I don't understand what's going on. That's what we're reading it for you. I know, but I ain't going to say it all day. Why should I, we we'll understand. That's why you got to get information, sis, to come to our, We have a school up here. And you can come to classes to learn free. We ain't taking no ties. We don't believe in all that. You can come and learn as much as possible. Okay. We actually have YouTube set up to where you can go. We have classes set up seven days out of the week, three times a day. And you can watch it, you can watch it on your phone. And read along in your Bible to say, look here, I'm gonna see if they actually going by what the Bible say. Right. You can you can line our action up with the word of God. Right. So it, it, it ain't nothing that we trying to hide. We trying to teach as many as our people that want to learn. Right. Because we only can get out of this captivity as a nation. We can't get out of this captivity separately. Right. Right. It says come together. And that's what we have to do. And that's why we're telling you to come together with us, learn. Hey, and we'll, we'll be able to teach you as much as you need to learn. Right. Right. We'll, we'll make it interesting to work because this is your history. Ain't nobody teaching you your history. Right. So what's more important?
important than to learn your history. We ain't, they ain't teaching it in the school system. Right. They ain't teaching it nowhere. In the churches, they're like, all history is has been hidden yeah. right in front of us. I want to make sure in the churches destroy and scatter the sheep. That's why the churches are not packed anymore. People are leaving the church because they can't find what they need. A spirit is designed to follow the word of God, but the churches ain't preaching the word of God. They give you a feel-good summary, they shuck and jive, you dance, the musician play their song, they get your money out of your pocket, and then they start all over all over again the next week. It, 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 nothing changed in the church. Why? The, the church been the church been here how long, sis? The church been a long, very long time. Long enough to where you don't know how long you've been here. But were you raised up in the church? Did you go periodically? Did you go to church? See, I, I was raised up in the church. And what church? About this mantle of the church. No, no, I wouldn't be No, no, no. I but this is the thing, sis. The churches have been here for so many years. Why hasn't anything changed? You understand that? The church has been here for so many years. Nothing has changed. Huh? No, he talking uh, about the pastors. No, no, I'm because I would want to. The church is the people. But yes. listen to it. Listen to it. Read it again. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. So he the thing that you want to get out of this is the pastors are destroying God's sheep. Right. The Israelites are God's sheep. Right. We are the lost tribe of Israel. We are God's. We're God's chosen people. What about everybody else? What about everybody else? No. Yeah. We're going to show you what everybody else. You want to know what happened to everybody else? Because we focus on you, sis. Knowing what happened to everybody else, that ain't, ain't going to get you your salvation. Because you want to you wanna, you wanna get the kingdom of heaven, right? So give me, give me Matthew 19 and 16. You want to get the kingdom of heaven, right? You gotta do what? No, nah, you don't want everybody to be here. I'm looking at a lot. Of, sis, I'm looking at a lot of these people. We 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 get passed by by rapists. We get passed by by murderers. We get passed passed by by child molesters. This world has to be destroyed for this purpose only because our people are wicked and there's no wickedness in exists in the kingdom of heaven. Read that. You said you want to get the kingdom of heaven, right? This is what you got to do in order to get it. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him. So a man came to Christ and said something to Christ. What did he say? Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So that's your question. You got the same question. What I may do to get the kingdom of him, to have eternal life? Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? So he said, why are you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. So he separated himself from the Most High God. This is Christ. That lets you know that there is no trinity. God is separate. Christ is separate. The Son and the Father can't be one. I can't be 
my son, and my son can't be me. We two different people, two right. different entities. Three. There is none good but what? That is God. So he even announced himself. He said there is none good but one. Three. But if I were to enter into life, if you want eternal life, if you want the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandments. Oh. What did he say, do sis? Simple. Is that hard? It's not hard. Now one of the commandments. Yeah. Hey, now one of the commandments. This is not our word. You know what I want. One of the commandments that we're about to get is for you, sis. Not just for you, but for our whole nation. Right. A whole nation of women, kids, young girls. This is for our nation. Right. And I'm going to explain why. Key pointers of why. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Now we know, you know that I didn't write this book, right? Ain't write nothing in it. I don't uh, know. All right. Know all right. All right. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. One more time. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do, huh? What does that mean? Like, no, I, what, what did you just say? No. What did you just say? Though? I say anything. So what do women wear that pertain to me? The clothes. It don't matter. What do women wear that pertain to me? What kind of clothes? My clothes. I don't know. You, you, you pointed at your pants, right? Yeah. So those, that's that's one command. God said that women should wear what pertains to men. Women shouldn't be walking around in pants. It's not, it's oh, not a life. Like a life? Like I shouldn't wear pants? Like I can sit on the toilet. No! Why you can't pull up your dress and sit on the toilet? Right. And it's much easier. You don't have to unbutton, you don't have to zip. You just raise up and raise and let down. It's much more easier. But what you have on pants, not just you, a lot of our sisters have it on pants. Pants are fitting, they're form-fitting clothing. So brothers get to see your shape or downside. We said what you're working with. Yeah. They get to see that. Who do you think should be the person that sees what you're working with or your shape? Your husband. That's right, brother. Brother, sister, it, it, it is not hard to understand, right? Am I saying this? Am I making, am I making you say these things? No, no. It's, it, and then now you create. It only makes sense. Right. And now you create young guys. Lusting and looking after you, coming up to you, trying to talk to yeah. you, trying to touch way, you. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but that's no. what, that's the reason why it's out of order because yeah. it put a spirit on men, yeah. and now men are raping women. Right. You see, you see how that can be avoided because if you was covered up, now my mind can't wonder. Now I need to see what's, what your mind is like, much rather than what your body looking like and what my body want to do to your body. You got to be, that's why we got to keep ourselves governed by the laws of God. That's right. But is it hard to put on a dress? Is it hard to stop wearing pants? It ain't hard, sis. It ain't hard, but we have been in this society and they have been accepting it to make it seem like it's right and it's wrong. Anything that's right. in opposition of the word of God, it is wrong. It's, it's, it's of Satan. Right. Those pants like didn't come, dream. those pants didn't come about. All people look, even look at the like slave. I, we understand you like the jeans. We like a lot of things that we put to the side. Right. But we put it to the side for the most high God, not for our right. own right. fleshly right. desires. Right. Right. You looking for a husband, right? Not right now. But, but eventually want you want a husband, right? Yeah. You don't want to live alone. Eventually you want a husband. I guess. 
Do you want anybody? No. Or do you want, I want the Lord? Do you want, want somebody Lord. that's right? I don't want nobody. You want somebody that's gonna keep God alive, right? Just ask. Yeah. yeah. You want somebody? You want somebody that's gonna keep God alive? Because they don't. Right. Because God said you gotta love your wife like you love yourself. Right. Am I gonna hurt myself? Am I gonna cheat on myself? Am I gonna do myself? No. I'm not gonna do anything that's unpleasing to me. So we, and that's how we think. But yeah. everybody out here don't think like that. Right. They think they should hit on a woman. They think they should rape a woman. They think they should go to the further extent to kill a woman. Or kill anybody in general. But we don't have that type of mindset. We roll different. That's why we, we set upon people. We supposed to be running this earth. Right. But yet we are content with serving. We don't supposed to be served. We're supposed to be getting served. But look at these pictures right here, sis. What do this sister right here have on her and her daughter that I showed you earlier? And this other sister. Do you see pants anywhere? No. No. From any, any woman on here, do you see pants? No, but back in the days, I don't think anyone wore pants. Right. And why do you think so? No, black or white, I don't think they wore pants. But why do you think oh. so? Back then, who created? The who, they who followed, created? they followed. So, the laws of God. Yeah. They fear God. Today, our people don't fear God. Right. They don't fear God. Read on. No, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it ain't just directed to the woman. It goes vice versa. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it says, neither shall a man wear a woman's dress. Do you think we, we should be wearing dresses? How do you what see? about the Scottish? They wear kilts. Sis, they sis, wear kilts. Sis, if we was up here wearing dresses, <laughs> or if you saw a guy walk by with a dress on, but what would be your thought? Dress, what would be your thought to a guy in a dress? I would. You think something wrong with him, right? Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. It's out of the ordinary. So guess how we think? Yeah. When we see our sisters yeah. in pants, yeah. it's out of the ordinary. So that's something, that's, that's a law that you gotta change, sis, and it helps you become closer to the most I got. What's your question, brother? You got a question? Oh, now I wanna comment on um, what you were just saying. What about um, men that, you know, like heels, heels are originally for men, and makeup is originally for men. So what are your thoughts on that? You said makeup? Yeah, makeup, like, you know, the white men in stockings and wigs, uh -huh. they wore makeup. They? They wore makeup. Did we and ever wear it? Heels the same thing. Okay, with heels, all of that, did we ever, as a nation, as a, was, was that our custom? Not with the makeup. No, not with the makeup, like heels, heels. heels. No, our people didn't wear heels. heels. The only way our people could have possibly wore heels is I'm not we were forced. I'm not talking about no high heels, I'm talking about boots. The heels. Boots? Yeah, yeah, we wear boots. And that's we have on boots. That's what women got there. No, no, but the women, even though they, they can wear heels, they, they can wear heels, but we're talking about dress, dressing. We're talking about apparel, the clothing. That's what we're talking about. And it's very important for our women to understand that pants wasn't created to what, 1940s? America Bloomer created pants, women pants. And that's, she's not of our nation. So do you think your, your enemy would create anything to benefit you? Of course not. No. So that thing didn't come about for our nation. It was never, it was for them. Our, our, our movements were separate from theirs. Right. And they started including us. Our women, simple women, went on to go fight for their rights. Women rights. When the black woman and the black man ain't never had no rights. Right. True. So it's, it's the, they always had things to transpire against us, to come up against us, that wasn't beneficial. If it's don't funnel through the word of God, we don't need to be doing it. Quick, give me that come from my there's, um, there's a lot of disconnect. Listen to, what the, listen to what the word of God say. What the word of God tells us to do. Because us as a nation, we got to come out of this society. What Bible are you reading? This is the King James version. You're reading from the King version. James version of the Bible. King he, James. Mm -hmm. You know who King James is. Yes. King James was a black man. Did you know that? Right. Huh? I thought he was He's white. He's the king of Scotland. No, King James. See that? Oh, the black yeah. Irish king? I saw the King guy. James got another Scotland. Nation. He came the, from our nation of people. Bring it up. Uh, 
But guess what? They'll have you think that King James is white. They'll have you think that King James is gay. Right. They'll have you think all these things to, to defame. Yes. Yeah. To defame King James. I've never, never heard of it. Before. Right. But they, they'll do that because who can say, well, King James, he was gay. And then guess what question I have to ask? With who? And then guess what answer you have? No answer. Right. We, we say King James was gay we, because that's another way to come against the Bible to make you believe that the Bible is not a true book. Right. Right. King James right. authorized. He didn't write anything. Right. He authorized this Bible to be transformed into English. Translated. Translated, rather. Yeah, translated into English. So he didn't write any words in this book. Understood. That was the only thing he did. So that's just another trick that they try to get you to not believe in this book because all your history no, is in not, this book. I'm not saying, because I know that it's our history that they talk about when they talk about the Israelites. Right. And we, like you said, Jesus, here like wolves. Right, right. They're talking about our people and there's a disconnect in society today because they try to make it feel like it's not our people. Right. But my thing is, I'm, I read a book called The Holy Tablets. Hold on, let us, let us get this through. We're going to go into that. Do what but you got to do. This is what we got to do as a nation of people with society. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Do what? Come out of her. My people. He said he heard another voice from heaven. Who you think speaking from heaven? Only God. It's only God. Only, only the, the most, most high. high. Right. But what is he saying? Read. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Ain't America full of sin? Full of iniquity? Witchcraft? Everything. You, 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 you got gay marriages? America say, they say, they go to the state to tell you that this country was built on um, godly principles in the Bible. When, what law do they follow out of the Bible? They don't follow nothing. They don't do nothing this book say. Right. Only until it benefits them. No, it don't benefit them. That's why they've been manipulating them. This book don't they benefit them. They thought it benefited yeah. them when they took us into slavery. And, and for, for, for yeah. several years, they taught us not to read. And, and then they're going to reteach us the book. As if the Most High ain't going to bring the Spirit to put the Spirit back yeah. on us. So where we can read now. Yeah. That's, that's one of the worst things that they did. Yeah. Let us be able to learn how to read. So guess what? America is slowly falling. Right. Oh, yes. Slowly falling. And guess who's up next to reign and rule? Bring it out! Right the Israelites. That's you, brother. You're supposed to be on this side. You're supposed to be raising war against the iniquities that go on with our people and the injustices that go against our people. You're supposed to be right over here. I would love with to. With us. I would love to. So do you have a file? Did you get a file? I have it. It's in my bag. Did you, do, you, do you see a location on that? We have a location. Okay. You have to get to the location, man. Learn as much as possible. You can go on YouTube. Have three classes a day, seven days a week. We meet on the Sabbath according to Exodus 28. We keep God laws. All we telling our brothers and sisters to do is keep God laws. Right, right. It's not hard. It's not grievous. Just like you said, it's not hard to take off pants and start wearing wearing dresses. Right. It's not hard to do the thing. It's not hard to grow a beard. If you can grow a beard, grow it. Line it up. But it's not hard to do that. Right. But all people come out here, be willing to kill us, fight us, all because we read out of the Bible. Right. right. Now if you don't see that that's safe, oh, up? then you something gotta be possibly no, wrong with you. Yeah. So, so, so that's the thing. What was your other question? Um, have you heard of Yakub, the mad scientist? No, I haven't heard of okay. it. Some of these other brothers may have heard of it. We're not going to talk about that. I haven't heard of it. I don't like hearing, actually I don't like hearing anything that don't come out of the Bible. This comes, it comes yeah. from the Holy Tablet. Yeah. Right. It's like an unabridged Bible. So, so is it this, is it King James 16 and Bible? Can it it's be? before that. It's before that? Before that. Oh, so, so. We will meet again and I'll have more information on that. Right, right. You can, and, and brothers, uh, we can go through the scriptures, man, and show you how you don't need another. Get, get, get Ecclesiastes 12. Get out there. Listen, listen to the word of God. You don't need nothing. Nothing but one book. You don't need nothing but one book. This book. That says what was then is past and what is now is now. What verse is that? I just read that. I think it was in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe one. 
But listen to this. We're getting it if you need it, sis. Listen, listen to this right, right here. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 12. Come on. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. Many books have been made. Many books have been made, have been created. Read on. There is no end. And much study is a weariness of flesh. And much study in these different books is weary. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to think. You dibbling and dabbling and reading and, and thinking you coming into some type of knowledge of, yeah. of these different books and philosophies. And when you get to the word of God, you don't understand nothing. Because you dibbling and dabbling too much. You gotta keep it, keep it clean. Keep it right here. Read on. Let us hear the conclusion of a whole match. It's the whole conclusion out of all the books that ever been created. The conclusion is in this book. And this book tell you what? Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. It's always about keeping the commandments. Simple. 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 Simple and easy. Right. So everything is going to always be about the children of Israel. Oh. And everything is going to be directed to them to keep God's commandments. Now, it's simple. Question, do you know about go ahead. sacred geometry? Three, six, nine? Come Brother. on, our hands grow in nine? Brother. Our hands grow, grow in nine. What's that? But did, 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 you, did you just understand what you Yeah, I understand. I understand. Read it slowly. No, I understand what you're saying. No, you can't say saying. you understand and then you come all back. All the information we need comes from this book. So why? What, 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 is, what is the three six? The three six what? and the go, nine. Go ahead, give it to him, bro. Just listen to me. Listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I understand what you're saying because you don't No, I understand what you're saying. You don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear this. I say. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't want to hear this. The most high. When I'm saying all colonies with the most high, huh? when I'm saying all colonies with the most high, is, is it in the Bible? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to, listen to this one thing. Listen to this one thing I have to say. Go ahead. This one thing I have to say. And you can do the science and research for yourself. When you look at the numbers three, six, and nine, mm -hmm. us as black folk, our hair grows in nine. They stand up. Listen, nine is the highest number. Uh -huh. It's the highest number, the highest realm. Only where the most high would go in the highest realm. On this earthly realm, we're doing a lot of six shit. In the realm of the six, which is the opposite of the nine, which is a broken halo. You look at it and you pay attention to Lucifer who fell from grace. His halo was broken off, turned from a nine into a six. So it's all this, can I find all this in the Bible? You can. Where? You're finding the Holy Tablets. There's many different Bibles, there's many different versions. Uh -huh. But I believe, my personal belief is that... What you just say? My, my personal belief, my personal Well, we are all humans. Y'all gotta get out of that mind, man. We're all humans. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get out of that mind. Have I said my word since you've been talking to me? Right. I haven't I agree. said it. So that's the difference. That's well, why you gotta get with like-minded brothers. What's the chapter? Word. What's the chapter? You gotta, you gotta get with brothers that really under... We I'm live sorry. this Bible. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You good. You good. You good. You good. You good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it was like that. We got to no, I wasn't no, going to try to no, no, I just, no, no, no. just want to ask you a question. We have a, we have a protocol. Okay. You good. Yeah, I, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't want to assault you nobody. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. You, you got right. a thousand people pass by us and you actually put forth effort to ask questions. So, well, I mean, we y'all just, just pulled up like the secret service. No, no, no. Bro. We just got a protocol. It's all good. But like I said, bro, we live this Bible. We ain't going to tell. We get penalized for telling you something wrong out of it. What's the chapter that says? So, we ain't out here to play. What's but listen chapter? to this real quick. Listen to this. Read this for the brothers. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse twenty. Listen, Oh Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, uh -huh. avoiding profane and vain babblings. Avoid profane and vain babbling. All that six stuff and God had nine and we doing six, bruh. It all comes back. It still time. boils down to the to commandments. Right. There ain't no way out of it. it does we a, a six don't tell you to keep God's commandments. <laughs> a nine don't tell you saying. to disobey His commandments. That's not, that's right. The saying, Bible though. tell you simple. Keep my commandments. That's right. That's not what I'm it's saying. It's easy. Okay. So right. all the other right. stuff, and, like, and, and, um, and you may have, uh, 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 get, got your understanding, and you may think that it's some truth to it, it but, to but it won't profit us anything. Without, without look, listen, what you said, without hair growing up, 
and we doing sick stuff, how's that gonna change our career? You didn't even it, let me continue still, saying what I was saying, so you, it, you cut it, me it off. Don't funnel through the body now, now, now listen to me. It has to be listen a to me. What if I was an atheist and I was doing the same thing to you? You're trying to tell me about a Bible I was reading about. If you was an atheist, right. I would be interested in talking to you because you don't believe the word of God. What happens to missionary work though? Yeah, but what happens to missionary work? Atheists don't believe in the Bible. What happens to missionary work? Agnostic. Are you are you understanding that you're an Israelite? You read the Bible? At the end of the day. You you, you know that you're an Israelite? Yes. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 20. The children of Israel. Yeah. 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 13 yeah. tribes of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Where, I have 13, my own understanding where 13 tribes come from? I have my own understanding of that. Oh, you got, I, I know and, I can know and that's where, that's where you got to leave off from. Right. You got to leave off from that. Because guess what? Yeah. How often do you see young black men bringing out the word of God? Only myself. So I'm saying, how often do you see not, not that? Like, not that often. Right. So it's a shift in the atmosphere that that's waking up other brothers. Right, right. Brothers, I, I, look, I sold so dope. I hold out my sister. You got other brothers that did things, various things in the world. The only thing that possibly could change me to do what the Bible say is the Bible. That's right. The six and the nine, raising hair up on your head, brother. That that didn't help me. No. Bro, all of that information didn't help me, won't help me. The only thing that helped me to change my ways, to not see this sister as no just regular other sister, you know, treating, you know, treating sister any kind of way. And seeing her as actually my real sister. It's the word of God, bro. And don't know other book, don't know other philosophy. None of that change you. It don't change you. It keeps you in a lower state and being a nigger. Frequency. No, it keeps you in the lower, lower state. Lower. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter three and verse five. Listen, brother, because you 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 do a lot of talking. No, we're saying the same. You thing. you do a lot of talking, so do you. and we do a lot of reading. But right. you don't listen to what we read. That's we right. listen to what you say and break it down and go in the Bible and find your answer. You don't and then your, all your answers is keeping the commandments. You have selective hearing reads for what I'm trying to say. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord. But trust in who? Trust in the Lord. No, man, my belief. No, it's, it's what I believe. It's what, 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 I, what I learned. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So are you going to trust in the Lord with all your heart? Or are you going to trust in yourself with all your heart? Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Lean not to who understanding? Unto thy own understanding. Now, I can believe what I want to believe. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Bro, you got to come from your own understanding. Bro, you said you know you, give me that in um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. If you know that you is real, and if you know that you're supposed to be keeping God's laws, why does anything else matter? When you, when you speak about the laws, you're talking about the laws from Leviticus? I'm talking about all the laws. It's over 600 Old. some laws in the Bible. Because the Old Testament sometimes does we not. Talk, we, we talk about all the laws of God except the sacrificial laws. Right. right. We ain't killing animals no more. Okay. That's but right. But the of our sins. We can go to the Most High God in sincerity and repent from our sins, okay. stop doing them, and we can be forgiven. Right. So I'm talking about all the laws that exclude that law. Right. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So what do the God of Israel require of you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Yeah, go again. Read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to love him. You got to love, you got to actually love God. How how would you how would you how would you say you love God? With all my heart, mind, With all your heart. So can you give? Can you call God? Can you yeah. buy him a gift? No. You, can, you can call God. Anytime I want, I speak to God. Anytime call him now. Want. He's right here with me. She's right here with me. She's, she's, right here she's with you. you got a, a woman. Listen, we're not gonna have that talk. We're not gonna have that talk. Oh man, you definitely don't believe, man. We're not gonna have that talk. Yeah, you definitely don't believe, bro. Read. You're not gonna have that and talk. now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God requires some of you Israelites. He requires some of you Israelites. You know you Israel. You know what God requires. You know it ain't hard, is it? What do you require, you brother? Do the laws. It ain't hard, man. It ain't, I promise you, it's not 
not hard. If we can do it, you can do it. He, right. said, he said his laws is not hard to preach. Preach. And now Israel, but does the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. Come on. And to walk in all his way. Three. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So it says, in order to fear him, you have to love him. Give me what's love. Because everything, you know, you're going, every, every scripture we read, it's going to always be the same. It's going to always be the same. He only, he only directed his word to one nation of people. Right. He only telling them one thing. It's, it's simple, man. But when you have your own understanding, it clouds your judgment. Yeah. Read. Second John, verse 6. And this is love. And this is love. What we're about to read next is actual love. Love ain't a hug. Love ain't giving somebody some money to get them a, a bottle of water. Love ain't taking care of, of, of your nephew for your, your sister. That ain't real love. But what is love? And this is love that we walk after his commandments. When we walk after his commandments, everything is going to be his commandments. His commandments, we're going to keep being the first fire, last hire. We're going to keep populating the ghetto slums. We're going to keep being shot down in the street by That's our right. enemies. All these things going to keep happening to us. Everything that he said was going to happen to us is written in this book. Right. You ain't got to do nothing but read it for yourself. How you think we get? How you think our nation get on this this side of the world? By not reading. Huh? By not reading. No, no, no. I'm saying, how do you think our nation get on this side of the world? How did we get over here? Oh, slave ships. obvious slave ships. Slave ships. So you believe that? Do you know that that was in the Bible? Yeah. If we can prove that we got over here by slave ships out of the Bible, and history proves time after time that we got over here on slave ships, won't that make this a true book? Of course. Bring it up! So when we're telling you you Israel, and you understand you Israel, we're telling you keep God's commandments, right. why not of course? Of course. There's no problem with that. My, can I just say this? Can I say, can I say this? Can we, can we read it out of the Bible? Yes. Give me first as a number. Prove all things. Can I say one thing? Bring it. I'm gonna, let you, I'm gonna let you listen to what the Bible say. Because too many times our people come up here and they try to teach us. I'm not trying to do that. No, no, no. I said, listen, listen, Why don't listen, I listen, I said too many times no. our people, mm -hmm. you have to get the terminology. Our people. Our people come up here mm -hmm. and they want to teach us. I didn't say too many times mm -hmm. you. Right. So you got to get the terminology. Understood. You got to get it too, sis, because you just jumping the gun. He just want to ask him for you in. Can I say this one But thing? listen, listen, listen to this right here. Listen to this. When you coming out here and you asking questions and, and we're having a dialogue, this is very important. You have to do this right here. This next scripture we're about to bring out in Thessalonians. Bring it out. Read. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 21. Prove all things. You got to. You got to have some facts. You got to have some resources. We get all our resources and facts out of here, and we're going to line it up with history. That's right. Out the Bible that it tells us, and we can go research it and find out this actually did. This actually did happen. Great for example. This actually happened in the Bible as well. And it's all because we didn't want to keep God's commandments. That's what a lot of our people. Don't want to keep God commands. A lot of our people, two thirds of our people, have to die. You got you got nuclear bombs pointing towards America as we speak. With one tap of a finger, the bomb can be set off and headed in this direction to destroy America. Now, will you be ready when that time comes? Will the six and the nine protect you from that fire? Right. Bro, it will. Bro, that will not protect you from that fire. That, the six and the nine can't even protect you. The NYPD from coming here and shooting you. That's enough. That's right. Right here in America, you can get shot down. We can get it on the camera, and they can see that you did nothing. You did not resist, and they can shoot you down, get off, and there will be no justice. Because we won't follow God's laws. Right. The six to nine, the, 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 all that stuff that you learn, that ain't going to help you. 
It's not gonna help you. It's not gonna save you. There's only one savior. Right. And that's the God of Israel. The most high. Right. And it's not a woman. Not it, 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 it's, it's not a woman, bro. You can leave it out. You gotta leave it out. Why I said that. Uh, they're trying to teach them. Real quick, give me Exodus 15. Bring it out! I understand, brother, is God is not a woman, God is a man. Right. Right. The, reason the Bible is. says prove all things. We're going to prove to you that God is a man. Bring it up! This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. Uh, listen and listen clear. Let's see if God is a man or if God is a woman. Bring it out! Let's see. Bring it out. The Lord is a man of war. What is the Lord? The Lord is a man of war. What is the Lord? The Lord is a man of war. Uh, the Lord of heaven and earth is a man of war. That's uh, right. Lord. So get that out of your mind, brother. You understand? The God of heaven and earth is a man. Not a woman. That's what I want to say. Now. That's what I, that's, I just We're clear on that. Now, now, let me ask you something. Okay. Like the brother was saying, you're an Israelite, okay? What your, what the goal that you should be, you should be teaching and keeping God's commandments. That is your goal. That is your reasoning. That is your reasoning. That is your reasoning on earth. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Bring it out, huh? This is the reason you were born. This is the reason why you were brought back. Right. Okay? Because you got to remember, there was a clock on your head. What does that mean? You have a limited time, just like I have a limited time to be on earth. And while you're on, while you're on that time, you must have been keeping God's laws. Look, what you got? This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the reasoning why we're here on earth. What is the reason? What is the conclusion of the matter? What is the, what is our purpose on earth? Read. And keep his commandments. What should we do? Fear God and keep his commandments. So what is the fear of God, young man? Fear God. It's also, I was gonna say it's also correlated with loving. But what is love? Time, what is love? At the same time, to be willing to do say it again. Do anything. Including the commandments. What is that? Commandments. No, not including the commandments. commandments. The commandments. That's the commandments. it. That's nothing it. more, nothing less. Right. Because you still think uh, love is hugs and kisses. No, and no. That's not what God no. is talking about. Of course. Give me God's love again. Okay. You can't. You can't hug and kiss. This God. is a book of First John chapter five and verse three. Listen and listen clear. You so-called blacks and Latinos of the diaspora. Brother right there, come listen. Listen to what God is saying love is according to the Bible. Read. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. What is the love of God? For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That is God's love, that we keep his commandments. Let's read on. And his commandments are not grievous. God's laws are not hard to do. Right. Give me give me first Samuel 15 and 23. You know why God's laws are hard to do for our people? Because we are rebellious. Right. And God says rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. That's right. We are a people that dabble in witchcraft, which is rebellion. Read. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. What is rebellion? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So when you say no to God's laws, God is saying you are in the midst of witchcraft. That's right. The black and Latino is in the midst of witchcraft as we speak. This is why we're at the bottom. Read that again. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Uh huh. And stubbornness is as iniquity. Stubbornness is as sin. That's what iniquity is. Exactly. Stubbornness. This is 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. Read that part again. And stubbornness is as iniquity. Stubbornness is as sin. That's iniquity. Read. And idolatry. And what? And idolatry. Why is God saying stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry? Listen, the reason why is because you think your ways are higher than God's way. God says, no, 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 no. His ways are higher than ours. Get that. Um, Isaiah 50, 55 and 8. God is saying, do 
as he is higher on in heaven than in earth, so are his ways higher than our ways. Sisters, brothers, listen clear. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 8. Come on. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So the way God thought, the way God thinks, that's not how we think. Read. Neither are your ways my ways, Come on. saith the Lord. Come on. For as the heavens are higher than the earth. So as the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways. So are God's ways higher than our ways. So what should we do? Obey. That's Obey. Right. That's Obey. Right. That's all God is asking us for. Right. Obedience. Right. Obedience. Right. When you go, how many of you have jobs? I don't. You don't have, okay, how many other people got jobs? Brother Mike, you got a job? At, at your job, don't you obey your boss? When your boss says, do something in the side of the, yes sir boss, yes sir boss, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. But when it comes to the most side God, we don't want to do his law. That's right. God is saying, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Right. You understand? So now we, in our repentance, we have to keep God's law. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.